Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can do bulk operations on the selected items from our new control that is table into our power apps. So for this, we are going to simply use the new table modern control and uh, we'll be fetching, we'll be doing the event on the selected item and then we'll call our power automate to do the bulk operation of completing the status in bulk and as well as notifying the users. So I am having one of my issue list which is being displayed as a table if I do selection and if I do selection of multiple items and click on this close selected issues button then it should close the issues change the status update and as well as notify the individual parties like which are involved the log issue logged by person so that's what we are going to do so I'll just start doing with my fresh power apps I'll just go to my power app studio We'll create an app with the page design and we'll be choosing a blank page. And here we are going to go to the settings and enable the modern controls into our this power app. So I'll just say modern controls. So I'll enable it. And once you close it, then we will be having option of using the table control which is in preview. So we can click this control and have this added to our power canvas app and we'll start adding our data source to it so which is our SharePoint list I'll click on SharePoint we'll choose this existing connection search for our site and we'll pick issue tracker list and do a connection and we'll remove couple of columns which we don't require to show as in grid so we'll click on fields, we'll remove description which is probably a multi-line text and we'll remove image as well as from this column, issue logged by is fine, issue source we can remove it, date reported is fine, assigned to is fine, status priority all is good. So I can just zoom a bit and right now we don't have checkboxes enabled so you have to go to your tables properties and into this behavior just click on this enable multi select say yes so it will add the checkboxes in front of your table so once you do that we have once I select this run this and select these rows so I'll be having the item into my selected collection so that we are going to work when we are going to call our power automate from on the button click so for that we are going to just add one power automate from these three dots and we'll just create a new flow and we will read the text which is being passed from our this input screen and we'll start from create from blank and we'll open this add an input we'll choose that as text but this would be nothing but json which we are going to pass from our button click event. So post that, I'll just do compose. I'll just read like whatever input we are getting from our this power app input. And for now, we are just going to save this one so that we can just get that JSON once we run do a test run for it. So I'll just name it as bulk operation flow issue tracker. And for now we are good we'll just save it keep it like this now we'll drag our button and this button we are going to just say that in properties it's a close bulk tickets like this and on this button click we are going to call our power to me so I'll just say bulk operation dot run and over here we are going to pass the text and text we are going to get the text as in from our selected table dot selected items and we are going to extract or create a json out of it so we'll just say json and table one is our table and selected items and we are going to get the ids of the all the selected items and we'll just say json format as compact and what we are getting out of it we would be getting a json and which the json we are going to pass to our power automates and the response which we are going to get will set it into response variable response output 
and we can show this output in one of our multi-line text fields so that while developing you should be knowing what output you are getting so I'll just drag and drop one label and this label I'll just drag to the bottom and so that it can help us to show what output we are getting from our power automate so I'll just say response output so that's it for now and now again going back to our this JSON so if I just select this operation this only this method then I would see like what JSON I am getting from my selected items so I'll just do this selection so right now you see like I have selected one item so in this preview I get this IT ID as 2 and if I again run this and just close for a while and again do the hover on my selected column then I will get this selected ID as ID 2 and ID 3 so instead of compact like if you find a difficulty in reading it then you can say indent 4 so in that case you will get this JSON as formatted and it will be in a readable fashion so once you are done just go back to your power automate again do add it and now do the actual bulk processing whatever processing we want to do and before that I'll just do this respond so the response we can read from our this power automate back to our power apps so I'll just say respond and over here in response I'll just say output JSON and value to be responded so for now I'm just saying output whatever input I'm getting I'm just showing output so nothing to worry about for now I'm just closing it and now we will run and before that we'll just rectify this output text dot output JSON and we'll run it and I'll click on this close bulk ticket it will call our power automate and the response the input which we passed we got that as output response because we did not do anything on it so you can copy this so that we can use this one while creating a template for our power auto automate in our next step so I'll just close this again we'll do this edit this time we are going to just use this parse JSON so that we can parse the JSON which we are getting as an input and get the actual IDs to proceed further input we are getting from compose and generate from sample and we'll paste the sample which we copied and we'll do this done so it will give us these generated IDs in an object format so that we can use that into our next step so in next step I'll just use this update item to our SharePoint list and we'll do this connection to our site and as well as pick the issue tracker list and ID we are going to pass that ID from our previous parse JSON ID step and it will bind that to apply to each because we are doing a multi bulk operation and post that we want to notify in single shot or like we want to notify individual users so you would be having your own choice so you can just say send email once the ticket is closed and you can choose this send email from outlook to you can pick the item from the dynamic content and the dynamic content issue is we want to send it to issue logged by user so we'll just pick that email address and we can say ticket or issue closed and over here we'll just add that issue title and in the body we'll just do the same thing dear user or logged in person issue has been fixed and closed and before that like in update item we just added it but we need to update the status back to our this completed state so that we can just say that our status is completed and we need to just refresh our connection for send email because there are multiple connections created so I'll just pick one I'll just save it this is just a warning because we are updating the existing flow and post that we'll just close it and the power automate will refresh and then we'll do a test run 
so I'm just selecting one item or I can select both and do this close button click and this is calling our power automate and we can circle back to our list to check whether we got something processed or not and we got it processed the status is completed the ticket is completed and we might have also received the email as part of next execution action so why i chose that route of creating power automate is like we along with doing multiple operations we need to like combine some other operations so ticket probably like is being fetched from so you may want to have a connector in between to uh, just close that case as well so you can do multiple operations within your power automate rather than like doing a just a patch operation within for all so that is like the quick way like you can do just patching if you want to just pass or update some couple of columns within the sharepoint or data source but along with that if you want to do multiple operations multiple actions then just go for power automate so this is a quick demo how you can do the bulk operations into your grid into your table into power apps i hope like it may help you and if it does and you have any questions then please drop your comment i'll try to answer that is it for today thank you